Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we did the chain rule, but we only did it with uh, polynomials raised to a power, and now we're going to do it with trig. So first, we have to know what all of the derivatives are for the six trigs, okay? So let me show you again my beautiful trick. First, you start off by writing sine, cosine, tangent, and then you start writing their reciprocals in the way I'm doing it right here. So the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent, the reciprocal of cosine is secant, and then sine gives you cosecant. These are their reciprocals. Now, if you guys remember from the last video or two videos ago, I told you it goes plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Everything that has the letter C gets a negative, okay? So sine and cosine are our weakest so they get each other therefore the derivative of sine is cosine the derivative of cosine is negative sine tangent and cotangent are powerful tangent always goes with secant and cotangent always goes with cosecant so tangent needs a power and cotangent needs a power okay they're powerful these two guys they are not weak and they are not powerful, but they're right in between. So they get themselves, okay, followed by the person they're always with. So secant, as I stated earlier, is always with tangent and cosecant is always with cotangent, okay? So now that you got this, we're going to be able to do the chain rule uh, problems. There's only four problems and I hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel, go to the playlist and watch everything. How do we take the derivative of sine three theta? That's a chain rule. The reason why it's a chain rule is because the angle is a value other than one x or one theta, okay? So let's take the derivative of f of theta. f prime of theta is equal to, this is how we do it. We say, what is, watch my language here, what is the derivative of sine angle, sine angle? The derivative of sine angle is cosine angle, okay? And then you have to take the derivative of the angle. So in order to clean it up, you put the three in the front and you are done. That's all that is. So the derivative of sine angle is cosine angle always times the derivative of the angle. That's how we do the chain rule. Next, what is the derivative of cosine five theta squared plus seven theta? Well, you first start by saying, what is the derivative of cosine angle? Well, the derivative of cosine angle is negative sine. Remember, it starts with a C, so it's negative. The derivative of cosine angle is negative sine angle. You see how I'm just leaving the angle exactly as is? Okay, so the derivative of cosine angle is negative sine angle times, don't forget to take the derivative of the inside or the angle, okay? So times, I'm just going to put that here, 5 theta squared becomes 10 theta to the first, 7 theta is 7, we're just going to put parentheses around it, and to fix it or clean it up, it's just going to be negative, and you just can leave it like this. Always put the trig after the algebra. Okay, so that's all you have to do there. There's nothing else you can do. All right, so the derivative of cosine angle, negative sine angle times the derivative of the angle. Two more. What is the derivative of tan angle? Remember, see, see the language that I'm using, tan angle. Well, what's the derivative of tangent? Well, tangent is powerful. It always goes with secant. So it's secant squared angle, okay? The derivative of tan angle, secant squared angle times the derivative of the angle. Do not put this and this together, okay? This is an angle. This is just a polynomial or a monomial that goes in the front. So the way to clean it is you're going to do f prime of x equals 3x squared secant squared x to the third. Okay? So the derivative of tan angle 
is secant squared angle times the derivative of the angle. That's how you do the chain rule. Last one. Whoa. You know I had to give you a nice one. This is how we're going to end it. Cosecant angle, right? Every trig function has an angle attached to it. Okay, so this cosecant, this is its angle. Now, what is the derivative of cosecant angle? Well, that's going to be negative cosecant angle times cotangent angle. Okay? So the derivative of cosecant, if you guys recall from here, the derivative of cosecant angle is negative cosecant angle cotan angle. So that's all I did there. I said, all right, this is my angle. So the derivative of negative cosecant, I'm sorry, the derivative of cosecant angle is negative cosecant angle cotan angle. Now we have to take the derivative of the angle. Well, how do we take the derivative of cosine 3x? Well, what's the derivative of cosine angle? Remember, every trig has an angle. What's the derivative of cosine angle? Well, that's just going to be negative sine angle, right? And now we have to take the derivative of the angle, which is 3. So pause the video. Try to understand what I did. This negative and th th this is all product, okay? All of this is multiplying. So a negative times a negative is a positive. The three comes in the front. I'm gonna put the sine three x just like this followed by all of this guy, okay? And that's your answer. So I hope you understand this. I'm very sorry about the room here, but basically it's three sine three x times this guy. All right, leave a comment or ask a question. And uh, I hope you get this. And basically, the derivative using the chain rule, you have to always take the derivative of the angle. Okay? Keep using the word angle. Have a great day.